As well as identifying which species of mycobacteria is present in a patient, whole genome sequencing can establish which drugs will be effective and which will not. In this video, we will briefly explain how this can be done. Currently, the NMRS is able to provide genotypic susceptibility data for the four first-line drugs, rifampicin, isoniazid, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol, as well as for the fluoroquinolone group and the injectable agents. This is done by looking for alterations, or mutations, in the genes which are known to be important to the action of each individual drug. In some cases, such as for rifampicin, there is only one main important gene. For others, there are several. Although the TB genome is one long, uninterrupted chain of bases, when it comes to producing the proteins that the cell needs to function, it can be regarded as a long chain of triplets of bases. These three-letter words, called codons, tell the bacteria in what order to put together the building blocks of proteins, called amino acids. The order of these building blocks determines the shape and function of the protein. Drugs kill TB by interacting with these proteins in a variety of different ways. Therefore, any change in the structure of the protein may stop the drug from working effectively. When this happens, the strain of TB may become resistant to the drug. The WGS system used by the NMRS looks for single nucleotide polymorphisms, also known as SNPs, in the genes that determine resistance to the drugs mentioned at the beginning of this video. If SNPs are found, they are compared to a database of known resistance-causing mutations. In this example, we are looking at rifampicin resistance, mediated by the RPOB gene. Codon, or triplet, number 435 in this gene, should read GAC, telling the bacteria to place the amino acid aspartate into the protein at that position. In this first mutation, GAC instead reads GAT. Luckily for the patient, GAT also tells the bacteria to use aspartate, so this mutation doesn't cause rifampicin resistance. These mutations are called synonymous mutations. However, in this next example, instead of GAC, the codon reads GTC. This tells the bacteria to put the amino acid valine in this position rather than aspartate. This change causes enough of a change in the protein that rifampicin is no longer able to work properly. This strain of TB is now resistant to rifampicin. Researchers have built a database containing thousands of different mutations and the effect that they have on drug susceptibility. By comparing the sequence for a patient's TB to this database, we are able to establish which drugs will work and which will not. This system provides information much quicker than traditional methods, allowing patients to be put on the right treatment straight away. In summary, we start by identifying any SNPs in resistance-determining genes, we then compare these SNPs to known resistance mutations, and we use these results to predict if the drug will be effective or not. Interpretation of these results is covered in another video.